Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2021 Volkswagen Atlas Crossport SEL Premium R-Line. This has four motion, which is all-wheel drive, 21 inch Brazelton wheels, LED headlights, LED running lights, LED tail lights, the R-Line front air intakes, new R-Line badging right here. These wheels absolutely set this car apart. Cross sport badge right here. It features power folding mirrors, keyless entry on all four doors, a panoramic sunroof, power sunshade with that sunroof, quad exhaust tips here. Now those are faux exhaust tips uh, and an oversized uh, reflector there. Let's look at the LED tails. Features the new Volkswagen logo right there. This is the first 2021 cross sport that we've gotten. And this is the SEL Premium. So this is the top of the line and the R line is an appearance package, which gives you this body colored paint below the chrome line down at the base of the car. Let's take a look inside. First thing you're gonna notice is that burgundy. That's a dark burgundy color. It's like a red wine color. So if your TV isn't adjusted right, this may look reddish brown, but it's definitely a red wine color. Dark burgundy. Also bold white stitching down the sides of the bolster here three seat memory right here also uh, you have lumbar support and your forward and back and then seat back adjust as well and as we climb in here fender premium audio power door locks power windows one touch up one touch down uh, power folding mirrors heated mirrors which are integrated into the rear defroster and then you also have a rear trunk release right here or hatch Volkswagen's digital cockpit is also in this one here. Dynamic road, road sign display um, is part of that. Um, the navigation system is the new MIB3 navigation system. So I'm gonna switch this. Let's see if I can here. Uh, I wanna switch this over to the instrument cluster so you can see that there. There is the new Volkswagen navigation in the MIB3 radio. I'm also gonna hit the view button, which is right here. Nothing's really changed here except for the the um, technology on the radio. Um, there's a look at your navigation now. You can zoom in and zoom out using the arrow buttons right here. You can zoom out pretty far and you can zoom in pretty close as well. Okay, so you do have three modes just like you did before. Your widescreen mode, then you have your crop screen, and then you have your dial screen. So there are a little bit of software tweaks here. There's the R-Line logo right there by the fasten seat belt icon there. Your odometer's right here. Um, the uh, temperature gauge is still over here and the fuel gauge is still over here on this side and you have the instrument cluster here. It looks a little more like it does in the Jetta now um, and there are gonna be more tweaks to that. As I make more of these videos, we'll get into the details of these things and uh, we'll discover more things here. But it does have the flat bottom leather wrapped steering wheel with the R logo right down here at the bottom. I'm gonna turn on a dome light to help inside here. So you can see that there is an R logo right there. It's kind of hard to see, uh, but it's in the piano black finish, silver finish on the steering wheel. Heated steering wheel is still right here. So they changed the mapping of these in 2020 um, and 2021 on the Atlas. Um, you do have that textured, that, that dimpled sport grip at nine and three on a steering wheel with the smooth leather up above. And this is a heated steering wheel. It's also a telescoping steering wheel so you can pull out, push in, raise it, lower it, and lock it in where you need it. Being an R-Line, it's gonna have these chrome covered pedal caps down here that are stainless steel. Also, um, you do have automatic headlights, all weather lights, coin box for storage right here, no changes there. That nice bowl stitching that the 2020 Crossport had in the SEL and SEL Premium is still here. Uh, carbon fiber finish in the doors. And then you look across the vents and it continues over here and into the door on this side. You do also have in this one the enhanced mirror. That's an LED, I'm sorry, a auto dimming mirror with a, a little LED uh, compass right there. Uh, auto dimming with home link buttons down below. So you got three buttons below right there. And then you also have your vanity mirror with a LED light above on each side. So you have that right there. The giant panoramic sunroof. I'm gonna open that for a second. It's gonna be noisy with that going. 
with the exhaust fan going inside possibly it doesn't sound like the fans running but there's your panoramic sunroof there's also a power sunshade this pop-up windscreen when you open that sunshade or that the, the sunroof there I'll go ahead and close this up here what I do like I like these seats a lot these are heated and ventilated it's heavily perforated because it's leather the big change this year in the glove box no CD player no SD card reader although you do have these little SD card holder slots right here you do not have an SD card reader here the uh, storage is still there you still have this storage bin up here there's an extra speaker up here and the SEL premium because you have the fender audio another big change down here you do have heated and ventilated seats as I said before that's no real change there but this MIB 3 radio is a big change so with the radio here it's AM FM and satellite 36 presets AM FM and satellite are all together on your presets the other cool thing about this you have gesture control and it's not doing it for me figures so it's not doing gesture control for me right now uh, but it does have it the little hand icon right there tells me it's it's there it's probably there we go I got it to work one time so it does work it's polished it, I, you know I, I just got to get used to doing it um, I've done it in other videos I know it does work um, and then you do also have this backup camera that's pretty pretty awesome it's a super HD camera um, it does have trajectory steering so when you turn the wheel left or right that yellow line moves accordingly the red line signifies where your bumper is the green line just signifies if you're moving straight back you do also have, as I said, heated and ventilated seats here. You can run them simultaneously, just like that, and you have them on both sides. And then you do also have that heated steering wheel up here, so cold weather. Uh, what's nice about the heated steering wheel now is you can change levels. You can go one, two, or three, whereas before it was just on or off. And I don't necessarily need the ventilated seat, so I'm gonna turn that off. It's three phase on the switch just like that uh, climate controls right here it brings it up on a touch screen the touch screen's a little more modified now so you can actually touch the cooler side the warmer side to warm it up or cool the sync buttons right here air care is also right here air care is your air air filtration system so it's going to filter out any kind of outside air bad air um, and it's going to circulate it through the cabin here so uh, this little by hitting checking the active box that's a new thing now that's a new way to activate it this little blue line is going to expand and i told you guys i'm going to learn as i go with these because this is the first one we've really had with this uh it expands over the cabin and then it turns the entire cabin blue once it's done it or once it's done and it continues to, to scrub the air for you there and it's a pretty nice system now moving on down here your USB ports, there's still two of them, but they're now USB-C ports, and they're backlit. So those are actually backlit right there. Gone is the auxiliary port, but you still have a three-prong plug-in down here. I'm sorry, um, a 12-volt plug-in for a cigarette adapter right there, and wireless charging right here on this pad. So you can put your phone down there, and it's going to charge for you. Of course, the shifter, none of that stuff really changed. The electronic parking brake is right here, push-button start. Your drive modes are all still here. So you've got the snowflake, driving mode snow, then you have uh, eco, normal, sport, and custom, which you can change by touching here or pushing down on this knob to change, and that cuts down on fingerprints. Then you do also have off-road and an off-road custom. An off-road custom, just like before, is going to allow you to tweak the adaptive cruise control, the light assist, climate control, all of these things, these little drop-down arrows, turn things on and off. Uh, the steering can be normal or sport. So you have all of these different aspects that you can adjust. Uh, back to this knob here. I'm going to turn it back to the roadway there. That's your normal setting. Um, then you do have uh, a 360 camera. Just like before, I can touch quadrants and change I can change touch the roof and go back to overhead I can touch left I can touch here to bring it back touch the front camera um, the front of the car to get the front camera etc um, pretty nice that it does that and that's on demand right here and then I also have park assist the car 
does park itself that way. It controls the steering. You control the gas, the gear, and the brake. I want to shut that off. I have a couple videos where I've demonstrated that. There's a look at the cup holder light that's only in the NCL Premium. In the armrest right here, there's another USB-C plug-in right here. So you have three. This stores a nice big medium, a nice, a good size medium purse in here. I put that key back in there. Now let's take a look at the back seat. As we climb out of here, we'll look at the sticker here. This one comes in at 51,980. The extras are going to include a an MDO package for 760 bucks. The MDO package is going to include monster mats, a heavy duty trunk liner with cargo blocks, the privacy cover, auto dimming rear view mirror with home link. Um, that's all going to be part of that MDO package, and this is kind of hard to see right there. 760 bucks. There's the items that are included right there. As we open this up, look at the leg room that you have in this back seat. Absolutely class leading. This is insane. Okay, so as I climb in here, I have all of this leg room back here. I am six foot one. This seat is actually reclined. I'm going to lift it up. These rear seats are also heated, but look at the leg room that I have right here. I have a ton. Also, two USB C connections here, and then a three prong plug in down there. It's hard to see there, but it is there. Here's a look at the armrest back here from the middle to look at the center console and look at the instrumentation right here and up above at the giant panoramic sunroof super super nice this is a nice nice car this is a great date night vehicle this car is awesome also going to turn on the light over here so you can see these seats and then you do have this armrest right here with a pop with a uh, cup holder right here in the middle every time I rip that off it just lets you know that this car is brand new I'm bringing you a brand new car fresh off the truck. Adjustable headrest back here in the back seat. These seats do recline or fold flat. You do have window shades in both the rear windows here. If I can do this one handed here, there we go. Right there to keep light off of your passengers, sunlight off of your passengers in the back. There's one on that side as well. There's a look up at the giant panoramic sunroof. Rear passengers get that as well as the front passengers there. Nice sloping roof, roof line there. The seat sits low, so a tall passenger in the back is not compromised with the sloping roof line. They still have a nice comfortable seat. This seat will fold flat, just like that. So will that seat over there. And there's a look through into the hatch. We'll come around to the back. As you look at the 21 inch Brazelton wheel, there's a look at your LED tail lights. It says SEL V6 right there. All of your our line units will be a V6. Here's a look through from the back. There's a look over the privacy cover into the back. And look up at the giant panoramic sunroof. Seating for five. This compares to a Grand Cherokee or a Blazer. Blows them absolutely away for space. Here's a look at all the cargo space you get. Cargo blocks right here. Cargo mat right here. Monster mats for the seat. That is your front license plate bracket. We'll put that on on request. Uh, so we get a lot of out-of-state buyers where it's not required, so we put it on on request. Subwoofer for your Fender audio system right here. Quick release subwoofer, and then there's your spare tire right there, your jack apparatus right there. You have incandescent bulb lights back here in the trunk, and there's a look through again from the back. Lots of space here, and then this guy just retracts. If I can pull it, I'm trying to do it with one hand here, and that just retracts back, and you can also store that as well bag hooks on either side right here and right here this does have an easy kick open hatch there's the button to close it and a look at your quad exhaust tips down here those are full tips but they are quad exhaust there's a look at your trailer hitch right there this will pull 5,000 pounds if you're interested in this car it has a four-year 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen two years of free maintenance are included in that and if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's here in St. Louis, you're going to get a 10-year, 200,000-mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. Also, if you buy from me, you get those three years of free maintenance. There's two years baked in where you can take it to any dealer in the country and get those first two oil changes done. That third one has to be done here locally at our dealership. If you're interested in this car, please give me a call, 636-290-4257. 
636-290-4257. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a happy Thanksgiving and a happy holiday season. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't and uh, hit the like button. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.